Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I am your host, Kevin Stafford. And this week, or I should say today, we do a few of these every week. I have with me Selena, what's that? I'm sorry, I scrolled away. Selena Garcia Keller. Am I pronouncing that right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Let me read a little bit about your bio. Very, very fascinating experience. Selena is a high impact coach in commercial strategy, helping startups and businesses accelerate growth in competitive and challenging environments. Now, let me get to the good stuff. She has more than 20 years leading high performing commercial teams for global leaders like Microsoft, Cisco, Palo Alto Networks, Nokia, and HP. She's worked directly with Bill Gates himself and offers world-class coaching to, as she puts it, ignite growth, which is a phrase that I love. And hopefully we'll get to talk a little bit about that. Selena, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Kevin. I'm so excited to be here. (laughs) Well, let's let's start at the start. What got you into coaching specifically? Obviously, you have a wide range of experience here, but what brought you, what prompted you to start a coaching practice? Well, my friends and some colleagues just asking for advice. (laughs) It's probably they really wanted someone who could listen to them and give them some tips. So that's how I started. (laughs) Simple beginnings. And that's obviously, honestly, that's a, that's a very, I, I think I hear that in every single origin story for every coach I talk to. It's just people would ask them for mm-hmm. their opinions, their thoughts, their tips on things. And eventually it got to a point where it occurred to them, why don't I do this professionally? Everyone's asking. So what, what would you say in your coaching business today? What do you do that you would say is unique or I would say differentiates you from, I don't want to say your competition, but from other coaching practices? I try to offer my customers very personalized coaching mm-hmm. and give them a very good balance between mentoring people and developing their soft skills and giving them very world-class coaching in into analytical skills you know and methodologies operations sales excellence so it's a good balance between the soft and the really deep knowledge in technical and tactical sales Ooh, i like that i like that i'm a, I'm a sucker for good alliteration and i like technical and tactical as a pairing because they, their meanings are similar, but they also are different in very profound ways. I like that a lot. Let's see. How is, I mean, obviously this is the question that's been on so many people's minds. How's business been in the last year, year and a half? I mean, obviously the world is going through what the world is going through, but how, how has your business been growing, pivoting, evolving in the last year, year and a half, two years? Well, people are more receptive to really receive just you know human coaching and advice and people are more human I think that we are we all felt vulnerable so for me business has bloomed really it was a very good year and despite the economic challenges in different countries I've been getting customer referrals for just all the customers to join and meet with me and I haven't even done any marketing. So everything has been <laughs> growing <laughs> organically for me. And I'm very thankful for my customers, especially because they have seen value in what I provide. So they recommended me and business is really increasing. It's been a great year. That's beautiful. I mean, yeah. it's again, it's so simple, but you know, how do people find out about you? It's, oh, I, I serve people well and they want to share that. And so people, you know, refer you. I just, that's how so many, so many of the best coaches, all the ones that I've talked to, their business grows by leaps and bounds is because the, you know, the word gets passed. People want to share the good things they've gotten from you. And so they just pass it on and people make connections. It's, I know it's so simple and it happens every day, but I still find it kind of magical the way that it works. Right. And the very good thing about it is that you get to really deep relationships. And I would say, Nine of my, of every 10 customers of mine are <laughs> repeating offenders. <laughs> no, that was a probably not a good joke. No, they are really <laughs> valuable customers and they buy from me again and again. And it's not like they're buying from me. They just really want to have me as part of their staff and just, mm-hmm. you know, refreshing some training every, at least every three or every six months. 
just they call me and they tell me I have this new challenge. So how are you doing about approaching this challenge and getting these results? And we just give some more coaching to their teams. That's a perfect example and a perfect way to frame why coaching is so valuable because obviously, you know, people can read a book or they can, they can follow a set of rules or a system, something that's been very detailed and systematized, but life changes, grows, evolves, things move. You have to adjust and pivot and adapt as things come at you. And that's a good thing. Sometimes people will define it as a negative, but that's just a natural part of life. And having a coach whose voice you trust, whose intellect and heart you trust is it's so valuable. And I just love seeing people who are not only paying lip service to that, but are, they're willing to, you know, to throw another joke out there, put their money where their mouth is, so to speak, <laughs> and reward the, the true value of what good coaching is all about. I just, I love, I love hearing that. It just, you know, warms my heart a little bit to hear that that's growing and expanding. Heart is very important. And <laughs> they know that I care about them because I don't only coach them, but I help them sell. So I become part of their team. It's such an intimate, beautiful relationship. I've really grown to love it as I've been more exposed to it over the past couple of years, working with more coaches. It's just, it's, it's going to sound corny, but it makes it, it puts a smile on my face every day. I was just commenting to, to one of my coworkers about how much I enjoy, how much I'll, I'll stop talking about us in a second, but how much I enjoy helping the helpers, you know, serving the servants, because I find there's so much of a servant attitude in in the coaching industry right now everyone's just looking and that's a lot of the origin story where it's like pe basically people were asking them for for tips and they sort of just decided to go professional but there's also underneath that at the heart of that a desire to serve to give back to reward with gratitude what life has brought to them and that's i find that to be true of of every coach i talk to and it every single time it puts a smile on my face so that's why i thank you for what you do i'll just say that right out loud <laughs> thank you for helping us you know, get the voice around. Absolutely. So what's next? What's the next year, two years, six months look like for you, for your business? I'm bringing up some more coaches to really share this experience with me. And I love to share some of what I've developed, but also some of the richness that my customers have taught me because I learn from them every day as well. So as we perfect, we try to expand our methodologies, expand our coaching or training and probably make it better every time. We learn a lot from hearing our customers and going with them to sell. So I'm bringing some more coaches along and they are very enthusiastic about it. People that, I, that really have sold and that have been leading sales teams. So we are not trainers. We are professional salespeople who have led with all the problems, all the customer objections, all the negotiations, everything that you do in real life out there in the you know, sales field. And so it's kind of, franchising a little bit if you want to look at it this way so a, way I look at it, yeah. a certain knowledge intellectual property but it's really sharing experiences mm -hmm. between organizations and sharing best practices so they'll be able to help me scale and serve more customers because that's what we do really we're serving our customers and we're truly focusing and listening to them and getting our our own skills you know, upscaling them because we need to be transforming every time, mm -hmm. not only the content we offer, but also the leadership we offer, the coaching, the mentoring, and we have to be leading our, our industries and our, the customers we serve. So definitely I need help. <laughs> and there are some people that are willing to travel this journey with me. <laughs> that's really, I mean, that's the key, isn't it? You think about trying to scale and grow, but then there's always that challenge of not losing the personal touch, the depth of connection that's required to do the work that you do. And that does seem to be the key is you build the team and you, exactly. you systematize, you, you kind of like the methodologies as, as you've been speaking about, you make sure that those are propagated, shared, refined, grown, and then you 
bring other people in. And then as the, the family grows, and I, you know, I throw the term family out there, I put it in air quotes, but it's true. As the family grows, the practice grows and the influence grows and the transformation grows. And we'll win-win. Win-win. I love it. <laughs> where can people find you online, particularly? Uh, where are you on social media? Do you have a website? Just want to make sure that people can find out more about you if they want to know more. Yes. Today, we're operating mostly with customers in Spanish, although we have some customers from Brazil. So we also do some Portuguese and English. But our website, still in Spanish, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's called World Class Sales. But in Spanish, that's ventasdeclasemundial.com. And part of the scale is we are going, of course, offer our services not only in English, but in Portuguese. And soon, probably, French is the next frontier we want to cross. Awesome. And hey, it's not perfect, but Google Translate does a pretty good job. I went to a website myself, and while I, I cannot read a lick of Spanish, I was able to use that to get all the information I needed. So please don't be put off by the fact that it's in Spanish. You can find out a lot more about what Selena is up to there. Yes, soon we'll translate it. <laughs> it's all part of the process. <laughs> well, Selena, thank you so much for joining all of us. I look around like I can see the audience. I do that every time. Thank you for joining us on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. And thank you to all of you who I keep looking around for and not seeing for listening. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Kevin. It's been a pleasure.